Hello, how y'all doing? I just got feeling in the left side of my face. Um, had to go to the dentist. Had a crown pop off. Not sure where it went. That's caused some uh, significant concern. So yeah, I like pulling teeth. Sometimes we do the things we want to do. Other times we do the things we have to. It's awesome when we get to do the things that we want to, that we've been instructed to do. And that's what makes this, uh, this plane of existence awesome. I had the privilege to go down to Oklahoma and be around awesome people, awesome men for a men's retreat. It was an honor to speak there. It was also an honor to be around quality over quantity. Quality over quantity. So many great conversations. It went by so fast. Late nights. Great food. Great people. Great conversations. As soon as I went to get on to the airplane and I flew United. I already started to miss brothers. I did. I did because uh, the time to be blessed by them and to be a blessing to them is the, the peaks of life. Not just peaks and valleys, but the peaks of life. It was awesome. Absolutely awesome. In ways I can't explain, there were, I had the opportunity to speak. Uh, Brother Bear had that recorded. It's on his Patreon channel. Many other men and brothers spoke there. Many conversations happened able to help each other in many ways continuous walk which is awesome it really was awesome um, to the point I want to do it again even if that means I have to I hope I don't but if I have to subjugate myself to the absolute terrible experience of refitting my gear and being treated terribly going through a line and what's interesting is is that within a day there was a viral altercation of a weirdo on a plane and I had sworn several years ago that I would never get on an airplane again. Matter of fact, many of the people that I used to work with, I told them I was getting on a plane and they sent me memes saying that hell must have just froze over because I had swore off before the, this is during the C-19 craziness, that if I ever got on a plane again, um, I would either have a parachute on or be learning how to fly it. So be careful, be careful what you say you will never do Oftentimes, I've found in my walk that the Most High will push us in places we don't want to be so that we can be the pipe, the conduit for the message, the, the stuff to flow through, blessings to flow through from one person to another. And most of the time on YouTube... It's uh, white noise because the gun genre is full of silliness. I want to ask you something, those of you that listen and get attracted to the gun stuff and the conflict. Are you looking for validation of your purchases or are you looking for advice on the systematic methodologies not to be a victim of advertising? And if you think you're not a victim of advertising, you're the exception, not the rule. If you think 
that your emotions aren't tied to your purchases. Well, that'd be great if that's true, but quite frankly, what I've seen is that there's a lot of guys that that's the opposite. And so if you want a system to break out of those paradigms, if you want a system to not be a victim to the groupthink, victim to the buy this, buy that, um, I've laid it out. I've laid some of it out here. I've laid a ton of it out <clears throat> on Patreon. I've also laid a bunch of it out on my brother Tabor Source Rex's page on Patreon. You should go over there and look. There are some gold nuggets after years and years of going through self-help books and business stuff and all that. If you were to actually embrace the wisdom that is present by visiting Viking Preparedness with Pastor Fox, by, by visiting Bear Independent, by visiting Tabor Source Rex, and even myself, you're going to be intersecting life in, in multiple angles that will push you further faster than um, anything else that I know of. And that's just the way I see it. It's the way I see it. Because what I've found is a common core between all of us is we hold ourselves to a different standard. Morally. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Be careful what you say you will never do because you may be pushed into that. I may live out in the woods, you see. The woman and the kids and the dogs and me. I got a few shotguns and some four-wheel drives. And I'm pretty well trained to survive. But what I see... When you start to intersect from different angles of brothers with different skill sets and different lanes, is that you will become exponentially more efficient in your effort. And that's the point. That's that's what I see across the channels. That's what I see available to you. If you desire that, Carpe Diem sees the day. Because your access to certain mentors and instructors in your life is a short window. It really is. It really is. Seize it while you can, while those opportunities are there. Systems to help you with your walk, with your selection, with business, with medical, with shoot, move, communicate, sustain, with your home study, with your prepping are all layered throughout those channels I highly suggest you all take a look take a gander and ask yourself this are you cruising the internet to look for validation and approval of your purchases or are you looking for real advice that will save you thousands if it is the latter be sure to check out the links below Hey, Z, no. And it's always puppies in my videos mostly. So get out into the high mountains if you can. Carry rucksacks, not wallace bags. Shalom.